How we doing everybody? I'm the Pop Music Freak. I am back with another Song Facts Countdown video. I am counting down my 1,000 favorite songs of all time, and we're about a sixth of the way through. We're at number 833. It is a disco classic by a group who is not predominantly known for disco, but I think they kind of just threw their hat into the ring like everybody else by the summer of 1979. And, uh, Took a break from having pop hits, but to do this album, <laughs> actually, probably in retrospect, was a mistake at the time. But uh, this was a pretty darn good dance tune. Uh, I am talking about the group Chicago, and the song is Street Player. So let me give you the song facts on this. Uh, starting with, this came from Chicago 13, the album they released in August of 1979. It was their 11th studio album. Uh, it was a follow-up to Hot Streets, which was pretty successful at the end of 78 and the very beginning of 79 because it contained two pretty big hits, the song Alive Again and the song No Tell Lover were both top 15 hits in the U.S. charts. Uh, but this was definitely a, a change of pace for sure. It would be the final release featuring lead guitarist Donnie Dacus, who joined him on the last album, Hot Streets. Uh, he followed in, he filled the shoes of a big man, a legend, a great, great performer, guitarist, singer, Terry Kath, who passed away at the uh, very beginning of 1978. Donnie Dacus is kind of a replacement for him, but he decided this wasn't for him, this group wasn't for him, and left after this album, Chicago 13. Uh, all band members could contribute to the songwriting. Uh, of this album uh, so let me get into more detail of that the album was recorded in May th into June 1979 was released on August 13th of 79 it was recorded in three different studios at the last studio in Montreal A&M Studios in Hollywood and A&R Recording in New York uh, of course uh, this is about the song Street Player which is on my list but we have to give more detail on what was going on at the time with the group. Uh, after recording sessions in Quebec and Hollywood, Chicago 13, which saw the band return to numbering its albums and displaying its logo, uh, they had decided to put out the song Must Have Been Crazy as the lead single, a song written by Donnie Dacus. The song did not do anything at all, considering its run of hits to suddenly only reach number 83 on the Hot 100 was a huge shock and disappointment. <laughs> The negative reviews on the album did not help the situation. The album went gold, but it was the first one by Chicago to ever miss the top 20 on the album chart. Um, actually, what happened is Dacus was fired from the band. And there was no official reason given, but apparently uh, he was expelled from the group. Okay, so now, here's this. Street Player, a nine-minute uh, Latin tinge disco sounding song was uh, n was released as a single, but it did not chart. Did not hit the Hot 100. Did not even wasn't even under the Hot 100. Uh, it did not make it. They did not release a 12 inch version as a disco track, which was a huge mistake. Why not release that? That would have been hit. Even without it, even as an album cut, it was getting played pretty heavily in all the clubs. Everywhere. This is Chicago. This is not some unknown band doing a disco record. This is Chicago. But they didn't put it out as a 12-inch. I'm just baffled by why they never did that. Because this became an underground following. This became a, a song that's remembered as a great disco record. But there was no 12-inch. At least not until 2013. <laughs> Uh, dance music producer Trade Love put out a 12 inch of the remix of Street Player. That wasn't really a dance hit, but it's 2013. It's way after the fact, obviously. Alright, um, more about the track. Um, uh, it was also released as a single, failed the chart, making it the band's first single ever to miss the charts altogether. The song Street Player and Closer to You had previously been released by other artists, Street Player by Rufus, who recorded it before Chicago did. 
And uh, the other song, Closer, was recorded by Stephen Stills. Um, but Street Player, of course, as we all know, did eventually reach hit status being sampled by uh, the Bucketheads on The Bomb, These Sounds Fall Into My Mind, and the 2009 hit, I Know You Want Me, Cali Oak Show by Pitbull. So this has forever been memorialized as a great song because of its use later on by other artists. Uh, but yeah, it, it baffles me that, that this was never, wasn't, never hit the charts, and they never put out a 12-inch of this song. All right, so let me get to the personnel. Of course, Chicago played the song. Peter Cetera played bass and did lead and backing vocals. Donnie Dacus played guitar and supplied lead and backing vocals. Uh, Lord Air de Oliveira played percussion. Robert Lamb, keyboards, lead and backing vocals. Lee Lofnane, trumpet and backing vocals. James Pancow, trombone and brass arrangements. Walter Perizader on the woodwinds. And Danny Serafin on drums. Now additional personnel that came in to play on this song. David Hawk Walensky played the synthesizer. Uh, Erto Morera played percussion. And Maynard Ferguson, the trumpet solo on Street Player. So, produced by Phil Ramone and Chicago, of course. It was mastered by Ted Jens, Jensen at Sterling Sound in New York. So, in terms of chart position, the album got to number 21 on the U.S. Top 200, which was a huge disappointment. In Australia, it hit number 24. This kind of put them into a big funk that it took three years and David Foster to turn around. Uh, very uh, hmm, interesting, but as they say, everybody has a slump. Every superstar ball player has a slump. Every superstar band has a slump at some point. It happens to the best of them, and Chicago was certainly one of the best of them. So that is it. That's what I have on Street Player, the song Facts. Number 833 on my list. To me, I think it's a fantastic song, a fantastic up-tempo grooving song might have come along slightly late in the disco craze as the disco sucks thing had already happened the month before this was released um but definitely a memorable song would i consider it the greatest chicago song ever no no the, as you'll see on my list there's several more coming because they're a great band and they always were and i grew up listening to them and uh i loved most of what they did <laughs> you know a lot of critics did not like this but i loved it good change of pace all right so that's it hope you like this video i hope you found it to be informative uh, i hope you like it i hope you share it i hope you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i did post i'm gonna post a link to the full length nine minute video in my description all right and hit that bell to notify you when more stuff's coming out all right thank you folks so much i wish you all peace and love